Yay! Hi guys! It's been a while. I am so sorry for the lack of tutorials. It's just been so crazy busy for me, but I promise I'm gonna get back into the swing of things. For today's tutorial, I wanted to use the Graveyard Girl and Tarte palette. This is the Swamp Queen palette. I am totally obsessed with it. If you can't tell, I have already used it a bunch. <laughs> Love the way it smells, by the way, and I don't know, I just think that they did such a great job on this palette. I'm so happy for Bunny and for Tarte. Behind me, there are lovely people doing construction, so I'm sorry if you can hear that in advance. But yeah, I want to hop on into this tutorial. I'm really excited, so let's go. Right, so we are all zoomed on in. Okay, so to prime my eyes, I am taking Benefit's Air Patrol, and I like to do about one to two clicks per eye, depending on like how much I've used the product before. Like if it's a brand new bottle, I can use like one click. And then I'm just going to use any translucent powder I can find. I like to take from the Tarte Contour Palette, and I'm just going to set the eyeshadow primer. So first I'm going to take the shade Big Baby, loving these names by the way, and I'm actually using a Tarte brush for this. I love Tarte like brushes, especially for their eyes, they're so awesome. Now this shade Big Baby, it's like, it's more of a skin tone shade, but I'm just laying it down right now so that we have like a nice base. This is going to make it easier later on when we're blending. And then now I am taking Natural Peaches and I'm just going directly over that big baby color using the same Tarte blending brush, going back and forth in like windshield wiper motions. I always like to start in the center of my eye though because that's where the color is going to be deposited the most. Gonna switch up the brushes now. <laughs> Taking the color Dog Man, I'm going to go a little bit lower on the crease. And this is the Morphe G24 brush. And I do have a discount code with Morphe. It's N-I-C-O-L in all caps at the checkout. And that'll get you 10% off all Morphe products. And again, just using this shade right in the center again and then using like windshield wiper motions. And also guys, don't you worry if you get a little bit onto your eyelids. Like I always am a little bit messy when I am blending up in my crease because I normally just go on in with either a darker color or like a pigmented color that'll just cover it right all up. Taking the color Man Cat, which is such a beautiful like deep purple color, I'm taking my Morphe M433 brush and I'm just focusing it on the outer corner of the eye, like the outer V. Taking the color Sassy Bun, I'm going to pack this all the way on my eyelid to where about that dark purple Man Cat color meets. I'm just like loving the names of these colors, like it's amazing. For liner, I'm going to be using the Tardis Clay Paint Lighter. I haven't used this in a hot minute and I actually missed it. So I'm going to be using that and I'm also using the double ended Tarte brush to apply this. And then I'm just taking some Tardis Mascara and applying them to the lashes. This is like just a Tarte tutorial today. <laughs> I love this mascara though, it's seriously one of my OG faves. And for lashes, I'm going to be using Huda Beauties. These are in the style Carmen. These are like definitely my faves, my go-tos. And I'm using the Duo Eyelash Adhesive to apply these. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you guys on out so we can do the botch. So I'm thinking I want to do something like sultry, like maybe add a little point in the corner of my eye. But I like to do that kind of stuff after everything is completed, if that makes sense. I got to color correct. I just have to today. I'm using the Becca Cosmetics Color Corrector. This is in the shade Peach. And then I'm just going to dab it on with my Morphe E20 brush. Using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick. This is in the shade Y365, I believe, and I'm just going to wipe it on my face. I love this foundation stick, like, probably more than 
any foundation I've ever tried. Like this is my go-to full coverage foundation stick for sure. And then I'm actually going to add a couple of drops of the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir to my damp beauty blender to blend this all out. This stuff, like, I'm not even kidding you, I cannot do my makeup without using these drops. Like, it makes my skin so hydrated underneath all my makeup. And then I'm just going to, I like to get the oil kind of like evenly distributed first. And then I'm just going to blend everything out. The Farasali drops also um, smell really good, so that's always an added bonus. I'm really excited because I'm trying the new Too Faced Born This Way concealer today. This is in the shade Light, and the applicator is very like flexible and bendy. I'm not really sure if you guys can see that, but I really liked that about it. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys know what I think about it. So I'm just going to apply it under my eyes on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and my chin. And then I'm also going to try to contour with these concealers. Let's see how, it, how it's gonna be. I'm using the color dark, and then I'm just going to contour my foch with it, get down the sides of my nose, slim that schnozzola out, and then I'm going to blend everything out with my damp beauty blender. To set my under eye, I'm using a Laura Mercier translucent powder. But what I have it on the underway, I am using the Morphe E48 brush to just dab this under my eyes. To powder contour, I am using Benefit's Hula Bronzer. This has been my go-to contour method for a hot minute. And I'm using my Morphe G40 brush. I think that this is actually a new Morphe brush. I'm not sure if it's out yet, but I will definitely let you guys know. I kind of like give you guys updates on my Snapchat, so if you don't follow me on Snap, make sure you do. And then to just set my contour, I am using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder again and going right underneath it. And we're gonna sit and let that bake. And now I'm just taking Dogman out of the Swamp Queen palette and I'm just putting it under my lower lash line, smoking it out. And then I'm taking that darker color Man Cat and I'm just going to line my lower lashes with it. You want to take your time and also dust off your brush, that way you don't get any dark excess shadow onto your cheeks or anything. So now this is where the sultry part comes in. I'm going to create like a little triangle space thing or what do you call that thing? Like an inner corner, like wing? I have no idea. You guys know what I'm gonna do though. So I'm taking my TARDIS gel liner and my chart. Where are you? My Tarte brush. And you definitely want to use a gel liner for this. Like you don't want to use a liquid liner because it's like harder to control and sometimes it can bleed when you're going down there. So it's, but you're better off using gel for this. So I've been like kind of doing my highlight a different way. Like I actually was thinking about making this a whole separate tutorial on like how to, how I kind of achieve my highlight. But I like to use a cream highlight first, so I'm using the Pure Cosmetics. This is the Moonlight Glow palette, and I'm taking the lightest shade from it and my Morphe M512, and I'm just going to dust this on the highest point of my cheekbones. Having that like cream base makes such a difference, and it really allows like powder highlights to stick to it and makes them pop. So that's kind of like what I've been doing lately to make my highlight shine to Mars and stuff. So now I'm taking the highlight from the Swamp Queen palette. This is Gator Wings, honey. And let me tell you, I'm not even kidding. This is like the best highlighter I have ever used in my life. Like not, oh girl. I can't, I cannot. 
And then for blush, I'm also using the blush color from the Swamp Queen palette. I'm using Does This Thing Really Work? And I felt like I needed to say it how she says it. <laughs> so just using the Dose of Colors Angled Contour Brush. I think that angled contour brushes are so beautiful for applying blush. And I'm just going to apply this. Since my face is kind of like big and round, I like to apply blush closer to my nose to make it kind of like come in more, if that makes sense. And then I'm just taking the Too Faced Mr. Right brush and I am brushing away that Laura Mercier translucent powder. And for lips, I'm going to be using Ashton by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their liquid lipstick. Love this. This is one of my favorite colors. And this is a finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I love you guys so much. And I promise more videos. I promise, promise, promise. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, babes.